thought I'd make a video to discuss uh, some recent and some upcoming events in the night sky I hope to catch. Um, what I'm really excited about right now that I'm preparing for, we have a penumbral lunar, lunar eclipse on uh, July 5th. So um, the, the center of Earth's shadow will not um, be on the moon, but part of it will be uh, darkened out uh, because not all of the sun's rays will hit uh, all of the moon. Uh, and we can see a map of... So right here we have a map of the view of the Earth from the moon during during the uh, the greatest eclipse. So we don't get to see all of the eclipse from Seattle. Seattle would be somewhere up here. Uh, this is probably the more relevant map if you want the uh, the schedule. So of the totality, uh, at the totality of the moon is probably gonna be right above this point right here. Uh, right at moonrise of, this line is where the eclipse begins at moonrise and then moon's, uh, uh, there's no, basically all of this side will be facing this, it will be daylight during this time, uh, during the eclipse. And this is on, uh, it says July 5th, but actually it's 9 p.m. July 4th on the Seattle side, which is what makes this really, really interesting. I think this is a once in a lifetime where we could get fireworks with the, the, uh, the full moon. I've been trying to ask locals around because I, I am not familiar with the legality of fireworks in various places and where one might view it. I normally don't like fireworks because um, there are some unsavory chemicals um, and I try to stay away from them but I'm willing to I'm willing to sacrifice my health a little bit this time because uh, th this is a once in a lifetime uh, viewing I get to have especially with the skies being so clear because of all, all the, uh, the, 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 the the reduced pollution because everybody is staying home this year, right? This is really a once-in-a-lifetime lunar eclipse. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I missed uh, some of these earlier events in 2020 that I had hoped to go to um, when I was planning uh, my uh, uh, holidays during uh, in uh, 2019. We had another penumbral lunar eclipse back in January that I had hoped to travel to go see. It wasn't in the United States though. Oh, there's people who got good photographs. Yeah, this is what, what it's gonna look like. So part of the part of the moon is going to be shaded from not all of the sunlight hitting the surface of the moon. And um, I was uh, hoping to go to uh, Gdansk Bay I've never been to um, Europe in the winter time, and um, I was um, I was kind of lonely at the time. Um, it, uh, I can't remember the, the details of what was going on. For some reason, I didn't make the trip. Uh, I, I couldn't coordinate everything else to, to make it happen. Uh, but it's nice to see that um, other people have gotten good photographs, and maybe it's my turn on July 4th. Uh, uh, it's nice that I, I'm, I'm glad to know I've already recovered from COVID-19, even though I didn't even feel anything. So I'm glad, I'm glad to know that uh, uh, I, I won't be uh, endangering uh, myself and others when I go. It, it's, a, it's a pretty desolate place where I want to go anyway. So, uh, but, but what I'm really sad about missing is this one. Uh, the the, uh, the uh, solar eclipse of, of June 21st, because... I have family near uh, where uh, it was uh, visible in Taiwan. Where's the map? Let's see if we have a photo from Taiwan, which is what I would have gone to see. Uh, there it is from from uh, Taichung is where I was hoping to uh, to go. Uh, speaking of, I, I just noticed my face in the computer monitor. It, it brings up a funny situation I had one time. Um, I do a, I, I do a bunch of tutoring in computer science, and um, I had a student. He was 16, 17 years old, and 
when I looked at him, he looked very unimpressive. He, he didn't seem all that attractive or anything. It, he seemed like just your everyday uh, hard worker. Until one day he, 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 he turned on his computer and he had a black screen just like that. And I noticed, oh my god, I never really... I, I, I can't believe you don't have a girlfriend. That was what I was thinking. Obviously, I didn't say it out to him. Uh, but... Um, Anyway, so so now I, I get very uh, nervous when I see people because I don't know why. His, his, my my own face, other people's faces change a lot when it's reflected on a black screen. Anyways, this is oh okay. I, I'm I'm not so I'm not so unhappy. I missed it that if it it was that cloudy. Um, uh, okay, maybe that's a silver lining. Uh, but obviously, uh, my family is in Taipei. They're elderly people, and I'm definitely uh. Uh, don't want to take any risks visiting them and not really worth going to Taiwan just to see the eclipse if I don't get to see my family not to mention all the stresses of the, the air travel right now but I'll get another chance it wasn't even a 4th of July or anything so uh, I'll get another chance uh, I, I normally don't mind traveling for space events so oh um, we get another total solar eclipse on December 14th let's see that is visible in Bolivia, Brazil, Ecuador. Okay, there's no way I want to go to any of those places. Uh, not to say any of those places are bad, but I just don't have very much going on in those places. Uh, the nice thing about solar eclipses and lunar eclipses is that they repeat on a certain schedule called... Uh, uh, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. Uh, Saros. Every 19 years... The, the sun, the Earth goes around the sun 19 times, obviously, and the moon goes around the Earth almost exactly uh, 235 times. So there's a repetition of some of these patterns. Um, that's why I don't feel so bad. I mean, I, 19 years, that's not a very long time to wait for another one of those uh, almost identical solar or lunar eclipses. What, I, what I'm really excited about this year is the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, also known as the Great Conjunct. Um, December 21st, 2020, uh, it's going to be near, uh, uh, the constellation of Capricornus. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing some of this. A lot of the stuff I only know from reading materials, so, um, let's see if we got a photograph from last time. I know in 2000, I, I obviously didn't know to look for it in 2000, but it was very hard to see because it was very close to the sun as well. Um, so, um, my dream is to one day see, uh, there are two events that are kind of a, a, a long stretch away, but I'm hoping to see them. There's a transit of Venus again in... Uh, in 2000, uh, 2117 I went to view the one in two, uh, 2012 and I had a good time viewing it so um, I hope to catch another one I haven't had very good luck with transits of Mercury I tried to catch it in 2016 um, there was one in 2019 but I, I went to uh, the conference in Taiwan and it was out of view there so uh, and they happen enough times that I'm, I'm not too worried about that I'll have better equipment next time uh, 2117, where is it going to be visible? Visible entirety of Eastern China, Korea, Japan. Yeah, those are, those are nice vacation destinations for sure, especially Taiwan. Uh, although, we're talking 2117, who knows how the landscape's going to look like by the political landscape, uh, or pandemics or who knows what right uh but uh uh or you're possibly we're gonna have cultural shifts and all that but uh the, the just the natural geography a lot of a lot of, of nice uh natural scenery for sure right uh the other thing i hope to see transit of earth from So in the year 2084, if we could travel to Mars, you can see uh, Earth uh, transit, er, the Earth and the Moon transiting across the Sun. I'm not sure which one I'll have a better chance of seeing. See, when I'm 97 years old, 
if if I'm healthy enough to travel to Mars, there's a good chance I'll live to be a hundred and and and, uh, and thirty, right? Uh, so uh, I give myself equal chances of seeing both of these events. Uh, anyways, uh, have fun this Fourth of July. Thanks for.